We're going to start at Joaquin's Rest. There's some cool armor in here, and you can get this very early in the game, almost immediately. So you head into Joaquin's Rest. You may have passed by this drow corpse right here. Loot that, and there's some faded drow leather drow armor. armor. Not super no powerful or anything, but it Sounds looks cool. Bright. And it also responds well to die because it has that white shirt that gets completely dyed whatever color you want. The next set is available on your way to the Githyanki Kresh. I'm sure you know where that is, but here it is on the map. There's Joaquin's Rest there, and you're just going to head west of that. There's going to be some story involvement here, but just for your point of reference, this is where we are. We're on the Monastery Trail now. Come down here, heading mostly north past the waypoint, head to your right. You're going to hear someone calling out. You may have already encountered this person yeah. talking about Rosa. stealing a Githyanki egg and asking you to do it for money. Lady Esther. So if by whatever means Lady Esther becomes a corpse in front of you, you can loot her and you will find my personal favorite armor set called the Graceful Cloth. And there it is in its original splendor. I think it's really cool looking. There it is dyed yellow. I'll occasionally take this armor set all the way through a game because I just like the look of it. And it's a pretty good set, too. Now, the next one is closer to the end of the game. You're in the lower city of Baldur's Gate. We're at the Tombstone Vendor, and we're heading towards the Ball Tribunal. So you may or may not know where that is yet. You may or may not have gotten there. But you see where it is on the map, and you're going to be heading here at some point. I don't want to give too much away unnecessarily, but there's two sets that I'm going to get here. The first one, you get off of the main guard of the three guards who are blocking the door. and You have to prove yourself worthy to get in. And that set is called Black Guard's Plate. And it's pretty cool, but with everything going on at this spot, you may have just gone by it. It's a good, powerful set, and that individual is going to be incapacitated. You might as well loot him and get that cool set. Now, this set here that you get off that fella named Dollar, he will appear at the end of that tribunal. So be sure that if you have combat with him, which you may not be able to avoid, he's got the scarlet leather armor. So loot his body if his body is available. You may also be able to get this leather armor if you see the serial killer investigation all the way through. You may be able to get it a little earlier if you do that. And that set also lends itself very well to dying. Now this last set is at Moonrise Towers in the Shadow Curse Lands. Now of course everybody knows Moonrise Towers, so you're not going to have any trouble wondering where that is or where you're, or where you will discover it. And there's a vendor right in the main lobby. There she is. 
and she is there selling no this. this you won't be place. able to loot it this off of her. At least I was not able to loot it off of her at any point. So you're going to have to buy it. It lends itself pretty well to dying. I think I got a pretty cool look going with that. The sharpened design. snare cuirass. Even those we once called monsters. Ah, and that's it. In case you missed any of those, you may want to grab them on your journey because they're pretty cool. Brothers, sister, pray with me while we wait. I I'm not worthy. I, I never learned the words. Yes, you did. She gives them to you fully for you. Can you hear her? Of many hearts, one soul. 